<laughs> Hello everyone. Hi. Oh my god, I'm so excited for today's video. I have literally been planning this video for two or three months. At least you guys know that when I say I'm gonna do something, I do it. Maybe it's gonna take me some time, but I'm gonna do it. But guys, TikTok shop got me. I never thought I would say that. In the past, I've actually ordered two random things from Depop shop. One, a Minecraft lamp. And that journal that was making everybody cry. I saw like 20 people cry and I was just like, I don't want to do this journal. So then I never opened the journal. But I was never really into TikTok shop because I thought it was all drop shipping. If you guys don't know what drop shipping is, I'm going to put it on the screen right now because it's probably better in writing than anything I'm going to try to say. So yeah, I thought it was all that. So I was kind of avoiding it. But I started seeing that there's actually like small businesses on TikTok shop. Like sometimes a small business will go viral on TikTok and literally that will like change their life. And I think that's so cool. Also, a lot of just regular brands sell through TikTok shop. I think it's just become a marketplace. Oh. Say hi to the friends. TikTok shop is just another marketplace. So there's multiple types of businesses on TikTok shop. So I was like, let me investigate. Let me see what's up. So basically, I bought a bunch of stuff that came up on my For You page. Like this was all like organically stuff that popped up. So I was like, fuck it. I'm going to make a video and I'm going to do a full investigation on everything. This was actually the thing that I kept seeing that I was like, okay, let me just make this video already because this has popped up so many times. This is the Guru Nanda Cocoa Mint Pulling Oil. Okay, so here is what their page looks like. I like the bio. Always 100% pure, vegan, and ethically sourced. Important to me. I hope that they're not lying. Um, okay, why did I just look this up and now people, their gums are bleeding. Their gums are bleeding. Be careful when buying. His gums are bleeding. Why did I buy this? Oh my goodness. Look how healthy my gums and my teeth look like right now. Why this music? Be very careful when you start oil pulling. I know y'all see this stuff all over for you page of people spinning out gunk or spinning out stuff they've never seen come out of their mouth before and it shocks them. This stuff is powerful and it works. That's why y'all gotta be careful. So be aware. This is why I say be careful because when you start oil pulling, you're gonna spit out tar and all the nasty stuff that are stuck in your gums and teeth that you did not know you had. This stuff also removes plaque. So after you oil pull for a good five, ten minutes, you will spit out tar and all the nasty bacteria that have been building up in between your teeth. And also after you oil pull, this is gonna eliminate your bad breath, your tooth pain, gingivitis, and the yellow stains in your teeth. If you care about your oral hygiene, you need this stuff right here. I know you don't want to close somebody's face and your breast smells like rotten fish. My biggest fear. If you show to your date, you should know your breath smells good, you should not have to worry about having bad breath. And don't you want to smile in pictures with your friends and He's kind of hyping me up. Like, come on now. Everyone that's getting onto this right here, there's about 1.3 million on the TikTok shop. Alright, okay. He scared me, but at the end, he started hyping me up. Oh, I should be wearing headphones. Let me get headphones. Okay, this is actually the video that made me buy it. I saw this and I was like, okay, I just like this man. You might have been to, in case you bought the Guru Nanda oil pulling in last 30 days from TikTok. Let me tell you, there is a good chance that two out of 10 people who bought it might have been duped. I like that they're like, nah, this is my product. Stop copying me. Because I feel like that means they value what they make. But yeah, let's um go try this out. <laughs> I'm kind of scared, honestly. Welcome to my bathroom. Okay, it's actually the next day. I'm still looking cute though. And I'm kind of scared to try this, but we're gonna try it. Shake well. Place 10 to 15 milliliters of Guru Nanda pulling oil in mouth. Gently swish between teeth for at least two minutes. Try to work up to 10 minutes per use. I'm not doing that one. I'll try for two minutes. Wait, is it gonna be oily? I didn't even think about that. It came with a toothbrush and a tongue scraper. I really wanted the tongue scraper. It smells minty. Oh, it smells minty, but then there's another smell there that I'm not too fond of. I'm gonna do 10. Oh my god, is it gonna be nasty? Wait, it's just hitting me now that I actually have to do it. Okay, okay, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I started feeling really weird after a while. It's like, couldn't swish it anymore. I will say it's warm. Oh, I have to brush my teeth. I'm scared if I don't brush my teeth, something's gonna happen like those people bleeding. I feel it. It feels nasty in there. It feels quite a little bit greasy. Why does my tongue look like that? That was disgusting. I didn't even think I want to show that on the internet. Don't look at me. It definitely left a film of something on my tongue. What the fuck is going on? 
because I brush my tongue every single day. I be scrubbing that bitch until I gag. Never did my tongue have this weird oil on it. Okay, I don't know if I liked that. Like, okay, it didn't taste bad. It tastes like mouthwash, but it's warm and oily. For some reason, after like a minute, my mouth just couldn't, like, I just wanted to spit it out. Like, I couldn't do it for 10 minutes. Who was doing this for 10 minutes? I don't know what it did. I have a good taste in my mouth right now, but I think it's about, do you want to experience what I just experienced? I don't know. I still feel weird about my tongue. I don't know. I guess the only part I don't like about this is that it's oily, but that's really what I bought. I can't say I love it or hate it. I'm kind of just like indifferent about it. If you want to switch oil in your mouth, go ahead. And if you don't, I literally don't blame you. <laughs> okay, now this I'm so excited about. Oh my god, it's the light. It is the light. First of all, I've already been using this for my Instagram content and oh my god, I'm already here to say I love this thing. However, this list thing is giving drop shipping or Amazon or you know, something like that. It's a light, so really I don't know where I'd be able to buy this where it wasn't something like that. I'm not seeing people around being like, I make ethically sourced environments environmentally friendly phone lights. I'm not seeing that. So if you guys see that, let me know because I would be interested. <laughs> oh, this is y'all sign to finally check this stuff like, out of y'all cart. Stop playing. I'm about to show y'all what y'all need it. All right, y'all, so I'm outside. It gets dark so quick. So I'm about to show y'all the before and after. Wow. So you flip it onto the phone, right? Turn it on. And look at that glow. Like I have no makeup, no filter. And she and looks beautiful. Okay. It got different light settings. Mm -hmm. You can also dim the light. This is the brightest it goes. So yeah, so since Starbucks is canceled, you might as well just treat yourself to the stuffing light. All you gotta do is click the link above my name. Today is the last day for the holiday season. I love her. I literally love her. So I actually have a first impression of me opening this light, so play that clip. Okay, I honestly wanted to wait to open this for the video, but I genuinely need the light right now. Please be charged. Please be charged. Oh my god, it comes with like a bunch of stuff. Mm. And this clips on your phone. Hold the power button for three seconds. Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna put it on my phone and see like it actually works. So let me turn off the light. I'm doing it this way because I feel like this is like the way I'd film on my phone, you know? Okay, turn it on. I'm scared that I'm gonna blind myself. <gasps> Wait, what the hell? Okay, you could change the mode. So I'm gonna try it. This one's like a little bit warm. Oh, that one's like cool toned, which I don't like. It's kind of bluish. And this one, oh, okay, this one's literally just orange, which I'll probably never use this one. Seems like this is the right one. Okay, <laughs> this is about to make my life so much easier. I'm so excited to film with this new light right now. All right, bye, bitches. Let me get back to my job. <laughs> Guys, I genuinely love this light. I love this light. I use it every time I'm filming content. I kind of have an idea, but I don't know how much it's gonna work, but I'm just gonna try it. So I have a ring light. I'm gonna turn it off. So here's with no ring light. Damn, it's dark in here. I'm just gonna clip it onto the screen not even the brightest oh you know what this little ass light is doing great for this camera like look how huge my ring light is compared to that little tiny light this is like the size of an iphone or smaller and it's doing a pretty good job honestly all right this one i'm so excited about it has been in this box for so long i haven't even opened it i knew if i opened it i would eat it <laughs> But okay, I ordered from here the candy closet and this is like freeze-dried candies I have once tried freeze-dried candies, but it wasn't good It was from five below and I don't know if they were old or expired because I didn't like them So I'm hoping I like these I really liked this page because I like how they just like show all these cool experiments and things Like for example It's time for a candy closet freeze dryer experiment tray So we're starting off with like they just be doing shit See what they do in the freeze dryer center line up That's gonna be awful, you know? And then we got some freeze dryer wrapping from there truly in the candy closet We want to see what happened to kids that are no reason for them to freeze dry candy that's already been freeze dried. They just be doing shit and I love it. Now we got some toxic waste. See? See? Squeeze. This is the green apple flavor. Let's see what it came out to. Now for part two. And oh my gosh, look at that freeze dry tray. So these are the banana split flavored Dippin' Dots Pop Rocks, the Warheads Wedgie Gummies. They didn't really work too well. Our freeze dried blue raspberry rings that got double freeze dried. They don't really seem very different. We got some of the Push Pop Gummy Pockets. They are hard as rocks. I tried to punch them. And then this one somehow. Like they show stuff that doesn't work. I think that's cool. I did see this video like meet the team. Miss Megan, co-founder. So yeah, I like that it's like they're making me candy and I get to buy candy from these women who make 
candy. Like they probably just did this as a hobby or something and then decided, why don't we just sell these? <laughs> I like how the box says packed by Keith. <laughs> it reminds me of Lush. <laughs> Freeze-dried pillow crunchies. These are freeze-dried high chews. Oh, these are the freeze-dried nerds clusters. I'm gonna try the high chews first. I love high chews, so I was like, let's see. It's so hard to open these with nails. Oh, wow. This is weird texture. This is how it looks. It's hard. Like, is it gonna be, I guess, crunchy, right? It's gonna be crunchy? All right, let's try it. I thought I was going to hate this. God, I look like the packing peanut. Whoa, this is so weird. All right, first of all, the ones I had at Five Below were literally expired or rotten because they were nothing like this. <laughs> it tastes like high chew, but it's like a texture that I just never would expect in a candy. It truly is so weird. The freeze-dried texture. Hold up. Let me try the other one. The Nerds gummies. These are dangerous. They're my addiction. I can't even buy them because I will just sit there and eat them. I don't even like having them in my house, honestly, because then if I eat a whole bag, my stomach hurts. Oh my god. Look at it. Look at it. Wow. Okay. <laughs> It's so good. Oh no. Now I basically just have a bag of Nerds Clusters. I don't know if they taste better than the original kind, but they still taste really good. Like they're just totally different than the original with that like chewy inside. But the Nerds are like kind of still the same. Maybe just a little more crispy. Mm. I'm trying to think what the texture is like. This is gonna sound so weird, but the texture is almost giving like cheese ball. Like, you know, like cheese balls. And these are totally different textures. I would find it so fun to get so many like different kinds of candies and like testing them all. This one is so different. It's like pillowy. Mm. This one's green inside. Mm. I think it might be green apple. These are good. I want to give a personal shout out to Ms. Megan from earlier for co-founding this company. But that was delicious. Guys, I'm having so much fun filming. I like really missed it. I really missed it. My spark is back. <laughs> Guys, next thing. Can you believe this wig that I'm wearing right now is from TikTok shop? I saw this brand so many times on my For You page. Like so many times. And let me just show you. So I'm installing my wig in my car. I'll be installing this wig from ICA. It just takes like maybe five seconds. Just one second. And there you are. This is... Doesn't that look so good? Installed with no glue. It came pre-plugged, pre-bleached, and pre-styled. This is the 9x6M cap wig. As you can see, let me push it back a little bit so it's not all the way to the front. That looks really good. They have so many videos that I watched, and I was like, are you serious? I, I feel like this is one of them. If you need a design to purchase a glueless wig, look, this is your summary. We can push. Push. That's so satisfying. Like, since I'm a beginner, I just wanted something easy, and that looked so easy. So this is the wig that I got, and I filmed the unboxing earlier today, so let's get into that. I am so excited to open this. This has been sitting in my room for a month. But today is the day, and I am so fucking excited. It came, like, so cute. Like, I mean, obviously it came in, like, packaging, but it did come in this cute little shopping bag with this cute fancy box. Honestly, this was a little pricey, so better be nice. Nice. Okay. Okay, fancy. Honestly, this box is so cute. I'm keeping it. Oh, it came with goodies. It came with a bonnet. Okay, lashes. So let's open this up. This is long as fuck. All right, look at that. That looks pretty good. It said that it was pre-plucked, pre-bleached, pre-everything. So you're supposed to just be able to like put this on and have it be ready in like two minutes. So let's see. I don't know. Oh, it's long and pretty though, for sure. This is how the front looks. Okay, putting on the wig cap. Should I glue it down? I've been getting like more into wigs lately and I did my first install the other day. I learned how to like glue it down and everything. Also, shout out black women on TikTok because literally they are my teachers and I love them all. And they're so talented and beautiful and teach me everything I need to know. So thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna glue down the wig cap, hold up. I look kind of good bald. <laughs> okay, guys, I genuinely tried my best. <laughs> whoa, whoa. 
just hit you guys i'm so sorry okay ignore the sides right now but like look at this look at this and then i've always wanted to do this part Okay, looking at it like really close, I could see the little knots and that kind of annoys me. But like, it's so weird. I thought I'd have to like cut this lace more. Like genuinely, I don't even see the lace and it's on my damn head. I'm still gonna style it right now. But normally like when I put a wig on, it's looking party city. It's looking costume. It's not looking like that. Granted, maybe I just like never had a really nice wig before. I'm shocked at the hairline. Okay, bye. Let me style it. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm styling and I just cut like the baby hairs. I'm about to pluck them. But a part of me wants to cut bangs. This with bangs. No. Should I? Should I cut bangs? No, that defeats the whole purpose of the fucking hairline. Okay, no bangs, no bangs. Let me just let me just continue what I need to be doing. Goodbye. And here's the hair. All finished. That just honestly took me some time. Here's the hairline. I fucked up putting the concealer on the part. I'm sorry. I did have to like pluck the hairline, even though it said it came pre-plucked. I just felt like it looked weird. I think the lace looked really good without any baby hairs, but like me personally, I just always have my baby hairs done. You guys know that. I don't go outside unless my baby hairs are. Time. and this is it it's so long it's so soft kind of obsessed with it but yeah i'll give you guys my full thoughts like right after this when i'm like sitting and i'm like hi guys welcome to my channel and we're back <laughs> okay so since that last clip i did straighten it more because i just felt like there was like some creases that i didn't like also i like tried to fix this bump right here it's because there's a band in there and i'm basically like trying to pull it down from the bottom because i don't know why there's a bump but I did my best to try to like hide that part Maybe I just need to like take it off and see the inside But it's already on my head I didn't use glue but I did use this lace melt spray by Ebon Recommended by the girlies on TikTok And I just feel like it really stuck on there Like this is stuck on my head So me doing all this styling kind of defeats the purpose of like, how easy the wig was supposed to be But me personally I just like how it looks like this better But since it came like prepared already it was so much easier like so much easier i recently styled and installed a wig that was not pre-plucked like it was like full hairline no baby hairs no like nothing like i had to pluck i had to cut i had to like cut layers into it like i did all of that and yes i made it work it just took so long it was like so much effort and this was like half the effort like yes i did pluck a little bit but it really cut down the effort you know like probably by 50 percent. so i'm gonna take it okay let me tell you the things i like and the things i don't like about the hair it's so soft okay that's one thing i love and i feel like it was good with the straightener i feel like it wasn't good with like the blow dryer brush i usually use the blow dryer brush on my wigs and i've never had a problem with it but i feel like i might have like ripped some out okay i don't know if i ripped it out or if this is how it came because i noticed there's like some you see some little part like some shorter parts it's so many that it's almost like i don't think i ripped it out using the blow dryer brush you know like maybe that's a thing problem not sure i like that it came kind of like cut i feel like it has like some thinning out of the ends like it doesn't just look like a blunt cut one thing that's like eh for me is that it really doesn't feel like a lot of hair like when i'm holding it it doesn't feel like a lot like i've had ponytail extensions that's more hair than this like weight wise if that makes sense but i think it's really pretty and long i'm not gonna lie it's like so long and pretty like it's so long and pretty and i really like it so like my complaints with it are like very nitpicky also i'm a wig beginner so if you guys are like wig professionals please tell me what i could do better and also please tell me if this looks bad be honest <laughs> but in a nice way please please in a nice way okay this next one let me show you the video if you give this to a smoker they'll hate you Taking elderberry induces a lung immunity process. A few hours later, you'll cough up all the old dirty particles sitting in your lungs. If a smoker takes this, they'll probably cough up nasty stuff for hours. But once that's over, they'll feel deep relief in their lungs. If you give this to a smoker, they'll hate you. <laughs> like, why did they say it like that? I actually was interested in the benefits of it, but like, why did they have to say it like that? So this is their TikTok. Doctor formulated products that actually work. Is, there is a this weed the doctor? Big Who's this? I'm sipping Red 40 to become a superhuman. Nah, just kidding, it's an elderberry extract. But it does so have antiviral properties that help fight viruses and colds while boosting the immune system. I like to drop it in water, but it's sweet and can go right under your tongue. 
Stay ahead of seasonal sickness with elderberry. Okay, I mean, marketing is a little strange to me, but I, I feel like they're going for click value, right? I did get the elderberry tincture though. I'm very excited to try this. I used to take elderberry syrup all the time when I felt sick. You're supposed to put this in water. This is how she looks. Wow. I have the hiccups. Randomly, I just got the hiccups. Take two droppers daily with eight ounce glass of water or place directly under your tongue. Do not take more than two doses a day. I wonder what happens when you take more than two doses a day. Okay, let me get water. Okay, got my water. Also, I don't know what happened, but my shirt is dirty now. I think it was my lip gloss. I don't know. Why are things just so hard to open sometimes? Ooh, I don't want to spill, but I want you guys to be able to see. Wow, wait, that actually looked really pretty. Okay, what is it gonna taste like, I wonder? Got my reusable straw. Big moment of truth here. Tastes like nothing. <laughs> This literally tastes like water. Um, how will, how will I be able to tell you if it does anything? I didn't think about that part. I guess if I start like hawking up mucus while filming the rest of this video, we'll know that it works. But elderberry syrup in general is very good for you. I used to take it, so like I don't mind having it. I mean, it makes your like water cute. Okay, next one is like kind of random and honestly, I didn't even get this for the video. I got this like after I got all the stuff, but I figured I'd include it because why not? It's cute. So I found this shop that sells 3D printed toys, figurine, fidgets, whatever you want to call them. Like they have so many of these like fusion animal things, like this donut turtle, this rose spider, this demon chihuahua. <laughs> I didn't expect that last one. I think this is the video that I first saw. All right, everyone, another announcement here. I'm happy to introduce the newest addition to the shop. This is the Love Dragon. So cute. Obviously, Valentine's is coming up soon, so I thought I'd make some Valentine themed items. So this is the first one right here. Super cute little guy. Like this is so cute, but I like that this account shows them printing it. I, the process is really cool. Ah, uh, here. Good morning, everyone. Look. Just got up, and we got some more pink turtles coming. Some of the red rose turtles. That's so cool. And these guys, you probably haven't seen in a while. Some more donut Ooh, turtles. Ooh, I like this machine. This pink machine looks cool. Brown. So really, he just has a bunch of cool machines. <laughs> this stuff is very affordable. Like seven ninety nine, eight ninety nine. Like I'm surprised that that's the price for it. My uncle actually has a 3D printer, so I showed him this because I was like, how hard is this to make? How easy is it to make? Like, what? Give me the tea. And basically, he told me that this guy has, like, really, really good, nice machines. They're expensive. But there is a site that people, like, share different models that you could 3D print. You're not supposed to sell them, though. And here's the thing. I have seen other 3D printed sellers that have very similar designs. I'm just gonna look up 3D printed turtle. Hmm. Funky Town Fidgets here again with some really cute mini rose turtles that I have in stock right now. Two different varieties. Those are the same. Those are the same turtles. <sighs> All right. I'm gonna assume he doesn't make the designs. I originally thought he did because in my mind I just assumed. Maybe it was wrong for me to assume, but I don't think that's wrong to assume. I don't know. I don't know, I'm just here to be the detective. I am now an investive, investigative, inve investigative, I don't know how to say, I don't know what's the word. Investigative journalist. I am an investigate, wait, <laughs> investigative. I am an investigative journalist get used to it. I actually got one for me and one for my mom. One of her favorite animals are turtles and honestly my family was going through kind of a rough patch so I just wanted to get her a gift that was cute. So I already gave it to her but I did do like a mini unboxing so I'll play that right now. Oh my god I just got this in the mail. How cute. You are better than you think. Thank you. I'm opening up my mom's right now because I want to give it to her. Oh my god I love him. Look. It's a rose turtle. Look at him. Noki, look at him. You love him? This is so cute. Look at it. I love how like all of it moves. Like a fidget toy. It's a turtle rose. Whoa, look, you can see like the 3D printed. You can see that it's 3D printed. How cool is that? 
Loki, you're real interested in this. And here's mine. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. One of my favorite animals are stingrays. You didn't know, now you know. Oh my goodness. I love how they're like fidgets. I love how they're like fidgets. Look at him. Look at him. It's a pancake with syrup and a butter. He's so cute. And look, he moves. He swims. Wait, he swims. Ooh, that's a good swim. This is so cool. If I had a 3D printer, I would be making some random ass shit too. I, I would be making some shit like this too. I'm not even gonna lie. This is so cute. And my mom loved hers actually. She put it like on her um like TV stand. She has it there. I always make her and buy her turtle things because she likes turtles and dolphins and frogs. I think she just likes sea animals. I don't know. Oh my god, and I like stingrays. I am really my mother's daughter. <laughs> so I'm happy I got to make her a little happy. I'm happy I got to make me a little happy. And now I have this pancake stingray. Next thing, you may have seen this because literally I feel like everybody has seen this like even my little cousin Who I think is 10 or 11. She even knows what this is. What? Why does this look like I just went to the pharmacy? Why the fuck does this look like I just picked up like birth control? This is so confusing. Now we have a scratch off ticket. Oh, I didn't even show the listing yet. I I'm just so thrown off right now. I think they're going for like a vintage vibe because now this is like a pamphlet. We used to have to make these in school actually. Whoever won got to have theirs printed like for the week or something. I, I just vividly remember making these in school. But um, I'm just so confused. Let's watch the TikToks, okay, before I forget. I don't remember the exact video I watched, but literally like 25 videos for this sunscreen popped up on my For You page, so I bought it. <laughs> okay, I found their TikTok. Okay, so this is like their ad. I actually haven't seen it yet. Look at this. It's whipped cream sunscreen. They definitely have like a vintage vibe going on. Ooh, I like this one. That was cute, okay. Batty. But I saw videos like this. What cream? No, sunscreen. This is the classic. <laughs> Get ready with me. For my job at Ulta. I'm only hot and sunny out again, so make sure you. She just ate it? Are you fucking kidding? She just ate it? Did she just eat it? No. Get ready with me. No way. No way. No. I don't know you know that you're supposed to be putting on sunscreen every day, but you still don't. Get fucked. Am I the only one that thinks the spraying on the face is a little... Maybe that's just me. Anyways, I bought it. I'm not gonna put it on my face right now, but I will try that like, I don't know, tomorrow morning or something. Whenever I don't have makeup on, I will film that clip for you. Don't worry. But this is gonna be my first impression. This literally looks like whipped cream. It feels like whipped cream. The packaging is so cute. Look at it. I feel like this aesthetic, like this retro kind of aesthetic is not really my exact vibe, but I can definitely appreciate like all the vibes that they're going for. Push button towards cap and lift. Literally looks like a whipped cream. I'm like scared. I guess I should just do it, huh? Mmm. <laughs> okay, I thought it was gonna smell like sugary or like sweet, but it smells like sunscreen. But like in that like coconutty tropical like nice way. Mm. Ooh. Oh. oh shit, I just spilled some on my pants. On my crotch. Oh my god. This is giving a frosting. This looks like I'm about to do a sexy naked photo shoot for my birthday. There's a cake there and I'm like sitting on it and like pretending to eat the cake. That's what it's giving. Maybe I use too much, but like, how is anybody supposed to blend this in? And you know what's crazy? My 11 year old cousin's BFF, oh, I got it in my hair. She told me, she warned me, because I said, guys, I just bought the viral TikTok whipped cream thing. What do you guys think? And then her BFF, who's also 11, was like, I love it, but it's really hard to blend in because it leaves a white cast. And little girl was right. <laughs> Never did I think I was going to like exchange beauty secrets with 11 year old girls. But here we are. Okay, I think I like have it blended in. To be honest, like I am so bad at putting on sunscreen. Like I forget all the time. I just felt like if I had something fun, I would remember. I did fuck up my pants though. 
fucked up my shirt and my pants. Ooh, but you know what? It's not sticky. It's very moisturizing. It kind of just feels like I put on a thick body butter. It's actually like really nice feeling. It doesn't feel greasy. Oh, I like this. I'm gonna be such a baddie this year. When I go to the beach, I'm gonna be like, shh. No, I'm not. I'm not. But imagine. <laughs> like, this is such a cool thing to have. I think, like, a lot of people would like it. This is also SPF 30. And it's cruelty-free and vegan. It's also free of, like, a lot of things that I don't know how to pronounce. Sorry. But I like it. I think it's cool. I feel like it's one of those ideas that somebody just had and was like, let's just do it. It seems fun. Sometimes I like a thing that just, like, is a little bit fun. Because, like, why not? If I need something like this to remind me to go put on sunscreen, I don't mind. Because, like, during my routine, I like to have little moments where I'm like oh this is a fun part so this could be that like little piece of joy in the morning for me okay moment of truth oh wait it has that cool thing okay let's see I'm definitely gonna use a little bit because last time Ooh, this is kind of fun <laughs> I'm not gonna lie that like literally instantly brightened my mood I wasn't in a bad mood but I wasn't necessarily in a excited amazing mood but now <laughs> This kind of made me happy. I told you I like the small joys. I like this. Like, it's very moisturizing. I have nothing else on my skin. One thing with sunscreens is like, I feel like they always break me out. I don't know. I feel like I've had like two different sunscreens break me out already. And I'm just like, mm. So as long as this doesn't break me out, I could see this like becoming part of my everyday routine, you know? Especially because I sit on the balcony a lot and it's about to get sunny. I like this. I feel like this is actually gonna make make me start using sunscreen and i love that it's cruelty free and vegan i love this i feel like you actually should buy this one <laughs> okay guys we made it last package <coughs> i'm sorry i just hit my pen <coughs> i realize i've been filming this sit down part <coughs> for two hours I started filming the hair and everything six hours ago. <coughs> so I think I'm just delirious. I've been talking to myself all day. <laughs> so I hit my pen to revive me a little bit. <laughs> I think, I think, I think I'm done. This is very cool. It's a little digital camera. I think there was like a specific video I saw. I don't know. Okay, so this is their shop. It kind of seems like they just source different digital cameras and sell them. Maybe they buy wholesale. Maybe they buy in bulk. Maybe they're a drop shipper. I don't know. Like genuinely, how would we be able to know unless they say it, you know? And I feel like if somebody is doing something that some people are kind of like, mm, like side-eyeing, they're not gonna say it. So who knows? But this is the listing for the camera. I remember it being cheaper than $30 though. And also, I'm surprised I didn't get the pink one but i think i was in a purple mood <laughs> i don't think i saw this exact video but like this is the vibes you see what i'm saying like these are the vibes of the videos i was seeing it's giving like very early 2000s if you're into capturing life's moments then you absolutely miss out on the dc403 digital camera today the sale begins and you can get it for just nine dollars nine dollars oh, my favorite feature is its delayed capture function which allows our whole family to take photos oh, yeah i like that not too. only that but the camera also comes with a large battery and fast internal storage which were the reasons why i chose it click the link in the bottom honestly it was just giving a basic digital camera and i wanted to try it i actually took this to a local bar like literally the local bar i was there with this camera and a Polaroid and I was like taking pictures of everybody even the bouncer and bartender got a Polaroid picture of them together and guess what they hung it up they hung it up life hack if you don't drink and you like going to bars just bring a random camera or gadget to play with and everybody will love you and they won't even notice you're not drinking that's the thing when I'm just sitting there drinking my water everybody's like you don't drink you don't drink no, I don't. But when I was there with my camera, nobody was asking me a thing. Okay, so here's how the camera looks. It has a flash and guess what? You can just like turn it on. Pictures and video will have this flash. I love that it's just like an on and off feature instead of like waiting for it to flash when you take the picture. Here's how I look. <laughs> Should I take some selfies? <laughs> oh, let's put the flash on. See if it makes a difference. My eye literally was just twitching. Aww, these are kind of cute. Honestly, I feel like digital cameras just make everybody look good. I don't know if it's like something with the quality, but it just makes you look like you have no imperfections on your face. It doesn't show anything. It just gives this effortlessly good looking vibe to everybody ever. Literally. Literally, I could have fucked up makeup, creasing, lipstick all over my face. Like I could have been crying, have tear marks. And if I take a picture with a digital 
camera, I'm somehow gonna look like I have a TikTok filter on. I don't know, I don't know what that is, but it's a thing, I promise. I'm gonna put up some pictures right now that I took. Honestly, I'm gonna block out everybody's face because I don't know if they want their pictures on the internet, so just ignore that. But the ones of myself and Noki, you guys can see in full, of course. But I think the quality is pretty cute. Like, it just gives such a cute vibe. And genuinely, that flash feature is a great touch. I actually want to do like an experiment. Okay, I'm going to take a video. <clears throat> hey guys, what is up? You're looking so cute today. Who do you get so cute for? Hmm? Where is the mic? Okay, so what do you guys think of this video quality? Would you guys watch a vlog or like a part of a vlog or like, I don't know, some cool visuals with this type of quality? Let me know. I'm gonna say my quick pros and cons about this camera. One thing that I think is a pro but at first I thought was a con is that it's very light. Like it's so lightweight that it feels like it's not gonna be a good camera at all. Like it literally feels like nothing. But that's good for when you're going out and you want to throw it in your bag because then it's not heavy. So it kind of became a pro even though I thought it was a con at first. I kind of rewatched some of the videos I took and I think the audio was kind of bad but that's kind of expected. Like I don't think I would use this for good audio. I kind of would just use this for vibes and mostly pictures. It kind of just feels like a little cheap camera. I'm not gonna lie because that's what it is. I literally bought a little cheap camera. Of course it's gonna feel like a little cheap camera but I think the pros really do it for me. I love 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 the light. I fucking love that light feature. Like I wish every camera had a light that just stayed on. Like I don't want to have the flash. I just want you to keep the light on. You know I love that. I love that it has self timer. You can do picture video. It comes with a really tiny SD card that you just put into like one of those converters and then it plugs into your computer. Very easy. It charges with the USB-C and I just think it's cute. You know, digital cameras are trendy for a reason. They make your Instagram look cool. They're easy to use. Everybody looks good when you take a picture with a digital camera. But yeah, that was everything. Honestly, my journey with TikTok shop today was fun. I enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun. We did a lot of investigating. We did a lot of digging. And honestly, that sounds like a great day to me. Honestly, I liked pretty much everything. I feel like TikTok shop is very cool to discover like cool brands, cool products. I personally wouldn't like buy clothing from TikTok shop. I feel like it's just drop shipping stuff. Unless it was like somebody's like handmade business or like hand printed shirts. Like that's different. But I don't know, certain things like I just draw the line. I feel like I wouldn't buy like any like weird knockoff, like really cheap beauty products on there that's like not for me i feel like in general tiktok shop could be cool for a lot of things is it contributing to our overconsumption issues as a society probably probably um but that's a little depressing and i don't know even what to say after that because it makes me kind of sad it's really all about like what you want to buy and what you want to support. I was just talking about this with my little brother and he's literally 12. He's turning 13 this year. He is obsessed with this one game and it's because the makers of the game have like really involved their audience in everything about it. And they really cater that specific game to their audience. He told me he likes supporting them because he knows like they worked hard and that they care. And for him to like grasp that at 12, like... I feel like more people should be grasping that, right? Like, I like seeing those brands on there where it's like showing everything. Obviously, not all the brands that I showed today were like that. Some were definitely like random sh sketchy like sites. But um, I didn't get scammed. Everything actually shipped very fast. Honestly, I thought some of the stuff would take like a month to come, but genuinely everything came so fast. I had no issues with any of it. My shopping experience was actually pretty good. <laughs> and yeah, that's all I really gotta say. Me and my buddy here um, are gonna go relax now. Ooh, I could use him like, you know when people meditate with a crystal? What is wrong with me? I'm actually delirious. But yeah, on that note, I need to go. Um, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching this video and supporting me and being so nice always. Like, fuck, you guys are so fucking nice. I'm so happy I created this like little place on the internet, this little environment where we're all pretty much nice to each other. Yes, I get some like random haters, but for the most part, we're really just like a bunch of cuties. 
cuties who smoke we're just here vibing and i love that so yeah let me know what videos you want to see in the future and i will make them i have so many ideas that i'm gonna start like producing i started posting like half as much on instagram so now i have like so much time to create other content and i'm so happy about that i stopped creating spicy content so i could have more time to do youtube and music and anything else that i want to do volunteer like i literally want to do so much with my life that like i decided to start cutting stuff out and focusing on what is important to me so yeah let me know what you guys want to see and i will see you in the next video